Okay, so hi there everyone. In this video, we're going to um, learn about on how to produce a stem and leaf block using the software JASP. Okay, so first off, I'm, I have uh, created here um, random values from 1 to 100 here in Excel. What we're going to do is we're going to use JASP in order for us to produce a stem and leaf block. So first off, I'm going to highlight everything. I'm just going to hide it from 1 to 100. I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to open JASP. There you go. And this is JASP. I'm going to click on new data and I'm going to paste it on the first column right here. It's just going to take some bit of time and uh, well, let's give them, let's give it a, t a bit of time. <laughs> After um, pasting the data here, um, you will, we will need to click on analysis and click on descriptive. So here we go. Yeah, let's double check. There should be a hundred of them and that's affirmative. Um, we're going to click on analysis i'm going to click on then descriptives and we'll be given this input output state so um, remember that you we will uh, tell jazz what to do uh, task will do it here or jazz will do it here we're gonna click on column one because that's called that was column one click on the variables we're not really much um, interested with the descriptives i mean the mean and standard deviation but we are interested to, to put up a stem and leaf plot. So the stem and leaf plot is is found on the bottom um, drop down options. And we're going to click on stem and leaf tables and I'm going to maximize this. And there you go. These are our, this is our stem and leaf plot. Okay. So notice the number of stems just duplicates because there are plenty of leaves on that certain stem. So seldom it duplicates. Okay, so that's how you produce a stem and leaf plot. Okay, that's how easy it is using JASP. So to set another example, let's produce this example here. And here are scores from two periods of stat class. Students of the two periods took the same test. And let us say we will produce a stem and leaf plot for each of them. So I'm going to copy this, these two data. I'm not going to copy the header, of course. I'm going to open JASP. And I'm going to go back to edit data. And I'm going to input it here on the second column. It's going to automatically produce... Uh, columns two and three i'm going to click on analysis i'm going to click on descriptives i'm just going to repeat it i'm just gonna, not going to edit it on the previous analysis but i want to input columns two and three you know um scroll down click on tables click stem and leaf plot and enlarge this so that you can see the the output um the output that jamovi created so sorry jasp created um, I'm also using Jamovi, but um, unfortunately, Jamovi does not have by default a stem and leaf plot. We're not going to mind the data here right now. It's not our concern. But um, this is our stem and leaf plot, everyone. So we have the stem 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and leaves are given. And this is um, how we create a stem and leaf plot using Jazz. So this is quite a short video, but I hope you get the essence of it. This is, That is how to create a stem and leaf plot using JASP. So uh, thank you very much for watching and hope to see you in the next video. Thank you.